Britain was a world power. When statesmen like Winston Churchill talked, nations listened. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. You ask what is our policy? I will say it is to wage war by sea, land and air with all our might, with all the strength that God can give us. To wage war against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark and lamentable catalogue of human crime. That is our policy. To ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word, victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory however long and hard the road may be. But without victory there is no survival. Now, we are the masters of our faith. That the task which has been set us is not above our strength. That its pangs and toils are not beyond our endurance. As long as we have faith in our cause and uh, an unconquerable willpower, salvation will not be denied us. Hitler knows that he will have to break us in this island or lose the war. Let us, therefore, brace ourselves to our duty. And so bear ourselves that if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour. Never in the field of human conflict was so much hope by so many. So we shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Never give in. Never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. Never yield to force. Never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. We now find ourselves in a position where I say we can be sure that we have only to persevere to conquer. If any words that I have spoken have commanded attention, that is only because they find an echo in the breasts of those of every land and of every race who love freedom and are the foes of tyranny. And if driven to desperate hazards, the attempt, the invasion of the British Isles, as well he may, we shall not flinch. What kind of a people do they think we are? Is it possible they do not realize that we shall never cease to persevere against them until they have been taught a lesson which they and the world will never forget?